What's up? Honor Hammer 20s. I'm here to give you my PWG Sells Out 2 review. You're probably thinking how big this thing is. Yeah, it's basically a history of PWG DVD, the second volume of it. Overall, this DVD for 20 bucks, you get like a ton of stuff on it. I mean, it's huge. You get three discs. I mean, it's absolutely huge. 20 bucks, definitely worth picking up. Only like the rate, it's hard to rate a DVD like this because just how much you get for your money. Just honestly, I mean, you get. You get more matches and they're all dollars that cost us. You get like 23 matches, 8 plus 8 plus 7, yeah. Uh, so 23 matches and most of them, I, I, actually the worst one is 2 and 3 quarter stars on this entire set. So without further ado, let's get, I gotta get through all 23 matches. Alright, Kazarian versus Daniels versus Styles. X Division style match, very, very good, 3.5. Joey Ryan, Super Dragon, very long, very boring until like the last 5 minutes, 3 stars. Uh, Kazarian versus Danielson, very, very disappointing. Four and three quarter, no, two and three quarter stars, not nowhere close. I mean, that'd be really weird if I said it's uh, really disappointing in four and three quarter. Uh, Kazarian, Punk, and Ryan versus Cabana, Pierce, and Super Dragon. By the way, I do not like Super Dragon one bit. Uh, he's boring as crap to me. I mean, he can do brawling style, and that's about it. I mean, he's very bland to me and stupid. Uh, but I give this match four, uh, three and a quarter. Very entertaining and kind of had a very funny ending. Dragon and Dragon uh, versus the X Foundation, who you know is the Dynasty. Uh, this is definitely a younger Scott Lawson, younger Joey Ryan when they actually were just like a regular gimmick, and it was very entertaining to see three and a half. Uh, Chris Bosh and Crick Silver versus Excalibur, who's the PWG commentator, who actually isn't that good in ring, and Super Dragon. It's an okay match. Chris Bosch made this match watchable because Chris Bosch is very, very entertaining for those of you who have never seen him before. Uh, three and a quarter. By the way, I just got home from work. I'm pretty tired. But I can do this video. So. I had caffeine. Um, from Battle of Los Angeles, uh, 2005. Danielson versus Styles. This match is actually very disappointing. I like all three of the Ring of Honor matches better than this, but this couldn't go all that long because it's part of Battle of Los Angeles and still had to wrestle another match past this. The winner did, so understandable. Very mat based It was still very, very good. I liked it a lot. Uh, three and a half. Probably the best match on this disc. Yeah, it was the best match on this disc. And the final match on this disc, Arrogance versus uh, Cape Fear. This match was probably the second best match on this disc. Uh, uh, very picked up at the end really really quickly. Generico and Lost have great chemistry. For some reason I don't know why they haven't done a title match with them too yet. They might have during one of Generico's reigns, but just they haven't done a match between those two, a singles match between those two in a very long time. And I think they just have really good chemistry. So three and a half. Um, overall, the first disc is very very bland and boring. I'm, I'm not gonna add one two. Two matches were very, very hard to sit through. Those were the second and third matches. There were matches that, uh, basically, oh, one thing I had, Excalibur in the early years until about 2006 was horrid on commentary. He is absolutely terrible on commentary. Let me say that. He has gotten better, but he is horrid in the early days of BWG. He's like Santa Maria-esque. Um, but anyway... You can skip the first disc. You can watch the first match and Danielson and AJ Styles, and then you get basically what everything else is on the DVD or this DVD. Then you get the disc two, which in my opinion is actually is the second best uh, disc, but it still is very very good. Strong and Seidel, very very refreshing. An awesome match on here. Uh, uh, I always am a big fan of both these guys. So it was very, very and they never battled one on one in Ring of Honor, so I always wanted to see a match between those two. Uh, four stars, very very good job. Picked up so much at the end. Uh, Super Dragon, Necro Butcher, no disqualification match. More, more like a guerrilla warfare match. Uh, a lot of action. A lot of action. So it was a very good brawling match. I mean, Necro, before the match even opened, was bleeding. And basic Necro Butcher match. I loved it. Uh, Super Dragon, I feel, is at his best when he's brawling. I don't like him otherwise. So this is a match that Super Dragon does not piss me off with. So it's a very good thing in my book. Uh, three and three quarter. Kaz Hayashi, Alex Shelley, two of my favorite wrestlers, and I imagine they have a better match than this together, but they didn't. Uh, three and a half, I mean, honestly, they have very similar styles. I don't know why they didn't have like a four and a half star match. I mean, maybe it's just an off night for one of those two, honestly. I don't know. Low key Samoa Joe, this seems a lot like the Glory by Honor match from Ring of Honor. Uh, just very mat based, very stiff, very just, very, very different in a style that only a couple of guys can do with Low key and Samoa Joe. Uh, another one being Brian Danielson, which we'll get to a little bit later. But um, this match was very, very, I guess, different is a good way to put it. Very MMA-like. 
uh, I loved it a lot. Uh, four stars. Uh, then we get to the no disqualification match, Brian Danielson, Necro Butcher. This match, for the time, it, it went about ten minutes, but this was, you had to see a brawling part of Brian Danielson, which was, it was damn impressive. I mean, he was, he was able to hang with Necro Butcher. Necro Butcher was able to bump like a motherfucker in this match. It was very, very cool to see. I mean, for the time I went, it's probably the best match on the DVD. Four, three and a half. Then we got to Alex Shelley versus Matt Seidel. This, this didn't go very long either because it's a part of Battle of Los Angeles, night three. So, I mean, it's understandable it didn't go that long, but for the time when it was pretty damn good. This is Matt Seidel's last PWG match. You know, it's Evan Bourne. Uh, so I'm going to go three and a half as well. Then we got to a match that could have been better, but I don't know, just in the last stages of the match, just didn't extend to that next level. El Generico and Kevin Steen versus Richard and Super Dragon. I'm not going to blame this match on Super Dragon, even though he probably was the worst one in this match. Uh, but I can't blame it on it because the match was still great. Uh, Richards looked very, very good. Your crowd was all over him. Generico looked awesome. Your Steen looked very, very good. So just four stars, and this is in England. So, so a, d a different type of PWG crowd. I mean, every single PWG show has been held in California or in Europe. Then we get to the best match on this uh, entire set, the end of this two, Brian Danielson versus Low Key. This match is probably the third best match in pro wrestling gorilla history behind Pac and El Generico from All Star Weekend Five, Night One. Was it Night One? Yeah, it was Night One. And uh, that name of that match, Gorilla Warfare match uh, between Super Dragon and Kevin Steen from the last match, last show, 2005, Astonishing Xmas, I want to say, or something having to do with Christmas. Um, this match, well, that match, the both those matches, I think, I think I get both those matches four and three quarter. I'm not mistaken. But anyway, this match is just very MMA based. I mean, this is better fake MMA than I can't say fake, but fake MMA than Joe and Angle. I mean, just I know C do ninety five ninety gave this match five. I I don't think it's necessarily five. I think it's still damn damn good, four and a half. But I don't think it's anyway. I don't think it's near five. I mean. I mean, he's a bigger MMA fan than I am, so maybe he liked this a little bit more than I did, but I, I just found this match to be so entertaining. I mean, just, there's no really big spots, but just map based and just, if you like amateur wrestling, and and this is actually a perfect match to show amateur wrestlers, say, okay, you think pro, wrestler, pro wrestlers are not as athletic, show them this match and you'll blow them away. Then we got the disc three. The worst match on this disc is three and a half stars. And then everything else is just awesome. Uh, Seema and Brian Danielson. The ending was very, very stupid. Sequence is very, very stupid. Besides, that's just, this was a great match. Four stars. Low key and all generic. You can see MB Wrestler 87 pretty much there is in this entire match. Uh, and I thought this match would go to the next level, but it just during the beginning, there's a lot of stalling for whatever reason, and then it just didn't pick up past that point. Um, three and three quarter, but it was still, the ending was awesome and just. W, I don't know why WWE hasn't called it low key yet. I mean, he just he is just you can tell by this DVD he is just, uh man. You give him time, he can just go out there and have a great match. Uh, Jack Evans and Roderick Strong versus El Generico and Kevin Steen. Uh, this is the finals of DDT four from 2008. Uh, besides one botch from a dive from El Generico and Roderick Strong, which was in one of the previous botchamanias, uh, this match was flawless and it didn't go that long either. What about 12 minutes tops? And this match was just amazing. I mean, man, this match was amazing. That's something PWG can do very well. Very short matches that are just amazing. Uh, and for the time it went, I mean, Evans bumps greatly. I mean, I know people that don't like Evans because he can just sell, but Evans can bump and sell greatly, and he is a great high flyer, in my opinion. I think he's actually, actually, he's not overrated and under. He's not underrated either, but whatever. I, I actually am a fan of Evans. Then we got probably the second best match on this entire set. Uh, Human Tornado, Chris Hero. Just a lot. Of, it's a long, drawn-out Gorilla Warfare match like you've seen in the past. Like Tornado and Ryan. Ryan and Hero. Just, but, but this was in a steel cage. It was very different. It was very good. Four and, four and a quarter. Then we got El Generico, Mr. Wrestling, Kevin Cena with Susumu Yoko Zuko versus the Young Bucks. Generation Me and Pac. Only appearance from Pac on this DVD for whatever reason. This is a match is just a X Division four star match, nothing more than that. Then we got Austin Aries and Hunter McGinnis. Kind of disappointing, three and a half. I mean, it's not besides that. I mean, there's one really really sick move. But besides that, it was just, it was just an okay match. I mean, they done so much better in Ring of Honor. Then we got the finals of 2008 by Los Angeles. Chris Hero, low key, four and three quarter star, three and three quarter stars. A very great match overall. Nine point seven five. Pick it up. See you guys later.